In the professional wrestling company Extreme World Wrestling, many of the warriors are named after their accomplishments. Warrior, Villain, Hero, Veteran. But one name and one title is the most sought after, Champion. Over the past year, one man has held that title definitively. He has taken on all competition and defeated each in glorious fashion. His name, Big Country. At six foot three inches tall, weighing 500 pounds, this immovable object has stood strong as the XWW Heavyweight Champion. His story is a story of humble beginnings. Tonight, we take a look inside the person known as Big Country and everything that has led him competing in the main event of Extreme World Wrestling's cornerstone event, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Big Country, oh man. I mean, what can I say about the guy? He, he's a monster. I mean, and for his size, he's very agile. At some time, I used to underestimate his power, but it's, he, he has it. He really does. He's a true champion. He's this big, dominant, scary guy. He, I mean, he's a whole lot faster than you would ever think a guy that size would be. Uh, growing up, I was always a fan of big wrestlers, you know, from Yokozuna, Andre the Giant, just these big, massive wrestlers in there, just the size, the way that they carry themselves. I, I just, I, it, it was believable. You could literally look at this guy and be like, he is a monster. I don't know who could beat him, who could even step toe to toe with him in the ring. And I saw that in big country. And I still believe that in pro wrestling, that pro wrestling needs that big man, that, that just that figure that you look at him and you're like, wow, he's a wrestler. And I think Big Country is that. I think he can not only mold the big man back into pro wrestling, but I, I think he is almost a calling card for XWW for, for ch to show that we're not about just you know being smaller or, or underground. He kind of gives us that, that big man feel that the company really has and, and is growing towards that daily, I feel like. Country is gonna bring what country always brings. Power, strength, agility and he's definitely one of the there's a reason he's the heavyweight champion there's a real reason why that man holds the extreme world wrestling heavyweight title i need you to come down to xww and do the same for money enterprise be my giant be my monster well guess what manny i am a giant i am a monster i don't need you to tell me that i don't need you to tell me that nobody Tells me what to do. You have made the biggest mistake of your life. You have done pissed me off. Now, you see this? This ain't nothing. Because I'm gonna bleed every last drop of blood out of Money Enterprises if I have to start with you. Jason Cross, Eric Adams, Belton Creed Moore, I will go through everybody and I will get you one on one in that ring. And Manny, we will see if I can get blood from a stone. Money Enterprises, you've been put on notice. You all must now face the music. And that music is country. But for every champion, there is a challenger. And this challenger is no mere professional wrestler. Loud, controversial, hard-hitting, effective. These are the words that best describe this man. From the country that has brought us some of sports' greatest warriors and raised in the heart of the city, known for its toughness and ability to endure. When I got in the ring with Eric Adams, he gave me everything he had, man. He left it all in the ring. I saw that same passion. I saw that same desire. That unmatched test of fortitude, that unwilling drive to be the best and, and to continue to want to be the best. I mean, as somebody that just loves this business so much, that has an origin of old school, that deep down has an unmatched passion and desire to want to be 
the man, heavyweight champion. And I knew after that match was over, I knew that someday, just like Big Country, that he would be champion and be a very good champion. He, I've seen him, he hits hard. I, I haven't experienced it, you know, so it's not, I can't really make a fair comparison, but I've seen him, I've seen him take some heavy shots. I've seen him take some now, so. I've seen him go against some good guys and do some good things. I would, I've never personally worked him, but. He did win matches, he did win the match of the year yeah. against TNA's own gunner, and that that's no small feat. Yes, well, carried the U.S. title for a good little bit there, too. He, he was also the top of his division twice, I believe, so. I met Eric Adams when I first started, six years ago, in Chester, South Carolina. Eric came in, he was cocky, I give him that. You know, he, he had trained, I mean, he was trained by Johnny Rods, which that in itself is a feat, you know, because I've heard stories about being trained by Johnny Rods and kind of like, you know, being trained by Susan Green or, you know, some of those those tough trainers from back in the day, they're real old school. They, they put you through, they sh make you see if you have heart. You know, they, yeah, they beat the crap out of you, but it's only to make you realize whether or not you actually want to do this for a living or not. And he came in and, he was loud. He was a bragger. He liked to talk about everything he's done, but he proved it in the ring. That was that was what you know I liked about him. And you know, the first time he got to work me, a lot of other guys they'd be like, "Oh, you're working big country," and they'd be like, "Oh, you know, what am I going to do?" He was happy. He was excited. And I'd say about two or three times we got to work each other down there. You know, we had awesome matches. They were a little quick, but, you know, he, you know, he, sh he showed me what he needed to do in the ring to gain my respect. I think keys to success for Eric Adams would be not only his experience from his past training to uh, wrestling not only across the U.S. and Puerto Rico, but I think, honestly, his, uh, his mentality, the way he carries himself in and out of the ring. I think Eric Adams will be ready for battle well ahead of Big Country and going into it with a game plan that I don't think Big Country will be ready for because Eric Adams, is a, he's, he's a man of the business. He studies it, he lives it, he, 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 he's always learning. So I think if anything that he's gonna go into this match ready to go against Eric, ready to go against Big Country in a way that I don't think Big Country's prepared for. You know, Big Country is a big man. He, he can do things in the ring and he can't do things in the ring. And I think Eric Adams is gonna know the middle ground of what to do, when to do it, and how to do it to really get Big Country down on the mat and to take advantage of him when he needs to. Because like I said, not a lot of guys have been able to bring Big Country down. And this is not only, I think, a test uh, for that heavyweight title to get in Eric Adams' hands, but a test just for him overall to think, can you do it? Can you go toe to toe with the XWW heavyweight champion who's been a champion for over a year? There's a lot of champions out there, but nobody has the credibility of holding the title as long as Big Country has and wrestle the name and legacy that Big Country's wrestling. Persistent. He, he's gonna go get it. He's not gonna stop till his mission is achieved. He, his goal is he's got a focus point right now. He's not, I've seen him, he's tenacious. He will not stop until he gets what he wants. I think he's the type of guy who knows what he wants and he goes after it like a lion. The Puerto Rican lion has been used to fighting his whole life. Toda! Trained by WWE Hall of Famer, the unpredictable Johnny Rods and with a resume of victories over some of the biggest names in professional wrestling. Eric Adams looks forward to the night that he can not only solidify himself as the heavyweight champion of XWW, but bring Money Enterprise back as the controlling force in extreme world wrestling. I'm the king of this You want the belt? See me! You want the match? See Manny Mac! You want to know what's in the future? Blood. You got to have blood. Your blood has to boil in order to be successful in this business. Sweat. You got to have sweat. That's the training. That's the preparation of the match. And tears. And the tears is the victory. It's the, the moment you know you made it to the top. Two men. 
one title, one chance to carve their name in history as the champion of extreme world wrestling. What does it mean and take to be a champion? It takes desire, it takes hunger, and unmatched passion to do whatever it takes to be the very best. Not only in re professional wrestling, but in life. You reach down in your soul and pull something out of you, that little extra something special, that little magic that makes a champion. A champion is the best of the best and has a huge responsibility, not only to carry himself, but the company he represents, he or she represents. It, it was awesome because any time a promoter wants to put his main strap on you, you know, it's not just because, you know, you need help getting a push or you need help getting over because not to my own horn, but I don't think I had a problem getting any of those. But when he feels that you can become the face of his company and help carry it by defending your straps, you know, it's, it's a feeling like no other. You, you know, you always, when you become a wrestler, you always want to be a champion. You know, you don't want to just do it just to do it. Your main goal is to hold gold, to win a championship, whether it's tag team, whether it's heavyweight, whether it's intercontinental, whether it's television or United States. If they have enough respect for you and you are good enough to hold the strap in their company, then you should be proud of yourself and you should be proud to call yourself champion. It's, uh, it means you're the best, you're the top of the ladder, you know. Top of the food chain in the alpha. You're base you're the shark in the in that big wide ocean. Among all the other guppies and flounders. Have you ever been sad and happy at the same time? <laughs> That's what it feels to be a champion. You're so happy, but you're also sad because you know now you become the hunted. People are always gonna come and try to do what you've done, and that's become the top dog in this business. It's happy because, of course, if you have a family like all wrestlers do, do then your pay increases because you're the number one guy on the, on the chart now. So it has its good points and has its bad points, but you also have to stay in the gym, prepare for that next challenge. I think it's important for a wrestler to become heavyweight champion of a promotion because it shows not only that he can carry the flagship of the company himself, but it proves that he is at the point in his career where he is untouchable, that he can step in the ring and do what he does best, and every single night it is 110%. It isn't a half-ass match. It isn't, well, oh, I wasn't feeling it tonight. I wasn't feeling it the day before. Every single night is a main event, whether you're from the first match to a tag match to a U.S. title match to the heavyweight title match. The difference is every match, mentally, physically, and what you bring out there is 100%. Who will win this match? We ask the XWW stars. Well, big countries, obviously, we use power game. He'll try to do whatever it takes to do dominate his opponent, just like he has in the past with other guys. But I, I got a feeling this time around, he will kind of use that power sparringly because he knows he's in there with a the ring veteran, and Eric Adams, a guy who's uh, been there and done that with a lot, a lot of other veterans in the business and had been to so many battles. And so I think both guys would be cautious going in, but as the minutes go on during the match, I think it, the heat will definitely be turned up and it's going to be a battle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be bold. I'm going to go ahead and predict that uh, we're going to see a new champion, actually. I think uh, Money Enterprises is not going to be able to keep their noses out of it for too long. And I think uh, Eric Adams is going to finally seal the deal. I bring strength, agility, quickness, all that in 300 pounds. Ask yourself this. Let's talk basic physics right now. If 300 pounds comes off five feet and falls onto something, what's going to happen to the person? They're going to break. If I drop that elbow on country, I'm going to break them. If I get my arms around country 
and I take 500 pounds and drop him on his head with that half Nelson suplex, I'm going to break him. If I use my legs that I could squat 785 pounds with for four sets of 20, and I put that figure four on him, I'm going to break his leg. The fact is this. I said it before, I'll say it again. To country, this is a match. To me, this is life. This is the only life I've known. From 1998 till now, this has been my life. And this is the only thing that's eluded me, is a heavyweight title. I've been a United States champion on countless occasions. I've been a tag team champion on countless occasions. I've been television champion on countless occasions. But I've never been a heavyweight champion. And I think I deserve it. And I think my time is now. Eric, I'm not five years ago. I'm not the young kid that you met first starting out down in Chester. I've been busting my ass for six years. Six long years. Four and five shows a weekend. Constantly wrestling hurt, wrestling sick, fighting whoever and whenever, winning titles, losing titles, you know. But you're going to have to face me. Me. Big country. The XWW heavyweight champion. Not big country, the little green rookie that you thought it was fun to poke fun at and joke around with. This ain't fun. The same games. It's going to be me and you in those ropes. The Gunners, the Reeds, the Strohs. Push all that aside. Because they have their own style. Me, I'm straightforward. I run through things. I use every single bit of my being to punish people in that ring. And I really honestly hope you ain't looking through me to this belt. Because if you're doing that, then it's going to be a bad day for you. And I hate it for you because I want the best of you because the best is what I'm going to be. It's so hard to think about when you're thinking of the biggest show of the, the big granddaddy of them all for XWW in Blood, Sweat, and Tears 2. What can happen? What can't happen? Honestly, I'm scared to think of the well-being of our entire roster for Blood, Sweat, and Tears 2 as I've already talked to a lot of the guys, not only for Money Enterprises, but in XWW, and they are willing to put their bodies and their life on the line for this show. So what I will say is that fans are in for one of not only the biggest wrestling shows in the Carolinas, but in XWW history, period. So what can I say? What can you expect? Expect bloodshed, expect violence, expect innovation, expect pure wrestling, expect what any pure pro wrestling fan wants to see from across the board. And what can I say is that these men of XWW will leave their heart, their blood, their sweat in the rings for you because that's what we believe in in XWW because it's innovation required, violence expected. And bottom line, on June 13th, you will see why XWW is the ultimate pro wrestling experience. May the best man win. I don't play these little pity patter money enterprises games. It's not about titles. Eric Adams, five long years ago, was the last time me and you stepped foot in the ring. And now I'm the number one contender. I've been beating the crap out of people up and down North and South Carolina. But have you accepted the fate that the title's coming here? I have been perfecting my craft as one of the best big men in the business today. I am the hardest working man in the XWW locker room. I came into this company, guess what happened? Tag team champion, former hardcore champion, still the XWW heavyweight champion. You want to see the lion come out? I'm not the same big country that you faced before. To you it's a match, to me this is life. 